A local high school band is in Hawaii right now, invited to represent Texas at the 2021 National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day ceremonies tomorrow. Yeah, the band from Teller High School in Hood County also performed today, and the students have been learning all about December 11th, 1941, and the attack. They went to a visit to the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager reports. Rain or shine, the Rattler Concert Band puts on a show. Monday, the pride and joy of Toller High School near Granbury in Hood County performed in Hawaii ahead of ceremonies marking 80 years since the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Toller High only has around 250 students. And for the majority of the band, the nine-hour flight from DFW to Honolulu was their first time on a commercial airliner. And to see all these things and to experience our history, it's absolutely breathtaking. Junior baritone player Lillian Spence is one of the 43 Toller Band members invited to represent Texas at Tuesday's National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day ceremony. December 7, 1941 marks the infamous day Japanese forces staged a surprise attack on the U.S. naval base in Hawaii. More than 2,000 Americans were killed and the U.S. declared war on Japan the next day, changing the course of World War II. With the work they put in for the, the music to get this concert to where it needs to be, uh, it's just, it, yeah, it couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be prouder of them. After hours of practice, Toller Band Director Aaron Noland is humbled his students were chosen. To not only further the kids' knowledge in music, but to um, further their knowledge in history and the things that um, have come before us. Over the weekend, the wide-eyed teenagers left Lays at the USS Arizona Memorial and participated in a flag-folding ceremony on the battleship Missouri. <laughs> After Tuesday's patriotic concert at the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum, the Toller Band will meet several Pearl Harbor survivors. Toller brought a piece of North Texas to hand to each survivor, a medallion from the Friends of Memorial Lane in Granbury. The organization remembers first responders in all military. It's an honor Spence says is the highlight of her high school years. The way we've worked our way up to be here, even though we're such a small school. What may be a small school is now ready to perform on a big stage. Peyton Yeager, Fox 4 News.